use algebra to solve the equation, and we have a cos squared. So again, we want to get cos by itself. I can get the cos squared by itself by dividing both sides by 2. And then, how do you get rid of a squared? Square root. Are you okay that the square root of 1 is 1, and I could write this as 1 over the square root of 2? Okay. And this, at this moment, is where many of you will make a mistake. Right? When you square root both sides, it's plus or minus. Can you see yourself making that mistake? Yes. Okay. Is 1 over root 2 on your pie plate? It is. Why is it on your pie plate? Because it's equal to root 2 over 2. So that's something you can write it in both ways, but you need to be able to recognize when two things are equal. And 1 over root 2 is the same as root 2 over 2. What family is that? Pi over 4, but now we're dealing in degrees, so 45 degrees. And between 0 and 360, you'd have quadrant 1, you'd have quadrant 2, you'd have quadrant 3, and you would have quadrant 4. All four quadrants because it's positive or negative. So if you have something squared, you can square root it. In this case, it was on our unit circle, so we didn't need uh, our calculator. Uh, your questions for this one are going to be 5 and 11, but I'm going to change your instructions a little bit for 5. I think for 5, it says verify a certain answer. I want you to just change it to be just solve it between 0 and 2 pi instead of verifying the answers. One of the answers that it says verify, that will be one of your solutions, but I want you to find all the solutions between 0 and 2 pi. So questions 5 and 11 for practice.